If y'all remember about six months ago, I got fined $1,500 for parking my pickup truck in my driveway, and I paid that fine all in coins to the president of the HOA. And I've gotten a lot of messages about what's going on with that. It, it drove a bunch of people that thought it was hilarious. Other people thought it was ridiculous. I mean, I'm getting all kinds of angles of people's different opinions and whatever. It's something I'm not proud of, but I'm glad I did. Everyone supports it. Everyone's always wanted to do it. Glad I did it, but I'm gonna kind of tell you what's been going on since I paid my HOA fine in pennies. Oh. About six months ago, I reached a point where I had been receiving fines from my homeowners association and I got this fine because I cannot park my pickup truck in my driveway at my house that I own. It can be parked in the garage, which the garage door has to say shut is another stupid rule that they have. And anyways, it's just ridiculous, right? I mean, it's a brand new truck. I understand if it's like a work truck or a piece of crap that's sitting outside leaking oil, whatever, whatever. I have a really nice brand new truck that I can't park in my driveway in front of my beautiful home. So they find me and I said, screw it. You know, I went back and forth on the emails with them. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm gonna, I don't have means of paying as with a wire. I don't have means of paying with a check and whatever. They ended up saying like, yeah, you can pay it in cash. Okay, so I showed up to the president's house with five or six buckets of coins, mostly pennies, but quarters, dimes, nickels, the whole deal, right? I mean, each bucket probably weighed like 50, 60 pounds. And what came about of that, right? So I paid it and then I never heard from them for months and months. And then finally I got a thing in the mail with like, $30 check back to me saying that I overpaid, which, okay, all right, whatever. So they obviously took it as payment and we, that settled that, right? So I continue to park my truck in my driveway every single day. Like I do not care what their rule is. And it's driving some people up the wall and I've, I actually just received my first letter again about parking my truck in the driveway. Oh, funny enough, right after that happened, they fired their management company. So the management company is supposed to be kind of like this in-between or like, you know, ruling house of, you know, the rules and billing and whatever. As soon as I paid my fine and pennies, they immediately fired them and hired a new company. And I think that this had something to do with it because they were included on all the emails and they really didn't have the president back for all of it. So anyways, that was kind of funny. But the new management company is trying to do things officially, right? So they sent me a letter and I was like, whatever. All right, so they're back on to trying to find me again. And so they posted a meeting of the residents and I showed up, right? I'm wearing my Dr. Parker hated by the HOA t-shirt, which is available at cletusmcfarland.com. So I went to the meeting and I was the only resident there. I sat in the front row at like six board members and listened to these people talk about the most ridiculous crap for like three hours. I mean, the sheriff came because people were apparently like, I don't know, some kids were like knocking doors late, like ding dong ditching. So they had the sheriff come to speak to the residents. Well, I was the only resident that was there. And I mean, these board members were wasting this sheriff's time complaining about the stupidest crap. And so finally it gets down to talking about like people who are not obeying the rules and regulations in the neighborhood. And you know, I'm sitting there like big eyed, ready to freaking hammer down on this whole truck stuff. And I learned something really specific. If they're gonna start finding you, they have to, somebody has to report you to the board or the association. And as the person getting fined, you can request for that form. So I can see who all these narcs are in the neighborhood, who's writing me up. And so they sent me the letter recently, like, hey, you know, you're not in compliance because you're a pickup truck in your driveway. And so I emailed back and I said, I need a copy of this report, you know, for my records. And now they, they have, I haven't heard anything because they know that I know I can get a copy of these reports. And so I continue to park my pickup truck outside on the driveway every single day. And they are like absolutely mind blown that I'm not obeying them and just completely disregarding the rules and regulations in the neighborhood. And 
after the meeting, I had board members approach me and you know thanked me for coming and supporting the homeowner association, whatever. But also that they are extremely concerned about litigation. And I'm not the type of person to ever sue somebody or go after somebody. And there will be no litigation from my end on this, but they are very worried about other residents in the neighborhood, as well as any potential new residents that come in with pickup trucks that would sue the homeowners association. Apparently there's some lawsuits that have gone on specifically in Florida of the exact same issues. Guys like me suing their homeowners association and winning because they want to be able to park their trucks in their yard in their driveway. Now I have considered changing the rules of the homeowners association bylaws, but that requires me to get like 160 signatures and I'm not going to spend my time door knocking all these people in the neighborhood, begging them to let me park my truck in the driveway. Yes, I should have read the rules and regulations before I moved in, but that has come and passed. So, you know, we live there, we're going to be there for a while. And yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what happened with the HOA stuff because it's pretty entertaining. The video popped off as I knew it would and people are still commenting on it and the comments are so back and forth. You know, some people are like in huge support and other people are completely against it and just talking so much crap about me. So it's been really entertaining to read all of those and I appreciate those who are really glad that I did it. Like I said earlier, I'm glad I did it and I'm glad it's over with, but I'm not proud of it. And I'm going to continue to put my foot down and park in my driveway because it's my damn house and nobody's going to tell me what I can park at my house. I'd love to get like a ton of Crown Vicks and park them in the driveway because that would just totally mess with them. But so yeah, that's an update for parking my truck in my driveway and paying the fine with pennies. Well guys, one of my life goals is nearing complete and that is to reach 100,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I'm really trying to get one of those plaques. I don't know what it is about it, but I just want one so bad. I feel like I've been serving my time and I know it's going to pay off eventually, so I'm going to keep on grinding, but I really appreciate you guys' support and we'll see you on the next episode. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.